Electronic Leak Detection, or ELD, is a quality control test that pinpoints breaches, holes, and seam voids in roofing and waterproofing membranes. Quality control ELD testing requires a conductive substrate directly below the membrane to allow a completion of an electrical circuit. For conventional roofing assemblies, a conductive substrate must be provided within the roofing assembly during roof installation. TrueGround is a conductive, water-based primer containing carbon black that was specifically created to enable low-voltage and high-voltage ELD testing of conventional roofing assemblies. TrueGround comes in 5-gallon pails that cover approximately 1,250 square feet on most cover boards and closed cell insulations in a single-coat application. Porous substrates, such as wood, require two coats for proper coverage. True ground must be applied in dry conditions and should be covered within the same day. During installation, applicators are encouraged to use disposable boot covers to prevent tracking true ground onto new and clean membrane. Additional tools and PPE required for true ground installation include gloves and eye protection, drill and paddle mixer, paint brush, paint roller with 3 8 inch nap roller covers, paint roller extension pole, and true ground continuity tester. Prior to true ground application, each pail must be properly mixed. To start, flip each pail upside down for approximately five minutes. This allows any settled material to loosen. After five minutes, flip the pail back over and open. Then, using a mixing paddle and drill, thoroughly mix each pail for approximately five minutes until an even consistency is achieved. For true ground to work properly, it must be continuous across all insulation or coverboard joints. To accomplish this, true ground should first be applied to all board joints and T-joints using a paintbrush. Next, using a 3 8 inch nap roller, dip the roller into the true ground and continue to apply a thin coat over the entire substrate board. The substrate should not be visible through the true ground. True ground must also be applied up and onto the side of all metallic penetrations, such as drains, anchors, and vents. This creates the continuous ground connection needed when performing ELD testing. Prior to membrane installation, true ground must be completely dry to the touch. This typically takes under 30 minutes. If needed, drying time can be accelerated using a backpack blower or with heat. Once dry, continuity between board joints and at ground connections must be tested using the available True Ground Continuity Tester. After True Ground is dry and continuity is confirmed, membrane installation can continue as normal using any required and approved fasteners, adhesives, or primers. ELD testing should be performed at the end of the project and prior to any overburden installation. Any breaches found can be repaired and retested the same day as the test. To perform an ELD test, there must be connection to the conductive substrate. Any metallic penetration coated in true ground can be used. A proper ground connection should be confirmed on a separate metallic penetration and checked periodically throughout the test. For low voltage methods, the testing area must be wet. Water is a conductor and carries the electrical current from the surface of the membrane to the electrically grounded substrate through any breaches if they are present. After a ground connection has been established and the area has been properly wetted, ELD testing can commence. Testing should first be performed around drains and low spots, then proceed to the remaining areas. For additional information on Versico's tested and approved roof assemblies that include DTEC TrueGround, visit the Versico website.